Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more uh, concept in operating system that is operations that can be performed on files. So in our previous session, we have discussed about the introduction to files. That means what is a, a definition of a file and what are the different attributes of a file. So today, without delay, we'll start what are the operations that can be performed on files. So the concept is file operations so we know that a file is a collection of related information which has been stored in a secondary storage so what are the different operations so the first operation is create write operation read operation close operation yeah okay open operation and then okay i'll write the first one as a open right okay yeah open create close delete Right. So these are the major operations that can be performed on a files, right? The first one is a open. So we know that in order to perform any one of these operations, the first thing should be open a file. So every file will be having a name. So in our previous session, we have seen the attributes. In that, the first attribute we have seen is a name. For every file, there will be a name, right? So for even even to perform all these operations compulsory the file is accessed with the help of its name and the first one is open so in order to read or write operation in order to read or write operations we have to open the file right so open a file to perform read or write operations so reading means the reading the data uh, from the file and writing means writing the data into the file right so next create so in order to open a file first a file should be created so during the creation itself we are giving some name right so here a file can be created creates a new file with a name so it will be stored and the one unique number will be given by the operating system in order to uh, access and in one location that file will be created so uh, in order to retrieve the data right so that's a create creating a file a new file creating a new file and then uh, once it was created and uh, once it was opened right then the write operation write operation means writing the data writing or storing data into a file so writing the data or storing the data okay so that is called as a write uh, writing write operation and read operation so that is only to access the data it is not meant for writing the data so reading means accessing the data accessing doesn't mean to write the data right accessing the data from a file from a file right and once a user completes the read and write operations then immediately the file should be closed so if the file is not being closed automatically uh, there is a chance of uh, uh, damaging the content of a file if there is a sudden power off or a file crash right so obviously we have to close a file so user have to close a file once uh, the read and write operations has been completed so close the file after read and write 
operations okay and finally delete so it will permanently remove the file from the storage and that means the memory will be free the memory will be free which can be used for storing another files right so removed from secondary storage so because we are saying that a file is a collection of related information which is being stored in the secondary storage so removed from the secondary storage and memory will be freed memory will become free and this free memory can be allocated for some other files okay and apart from these things there is a one more operation which is called a append which is similar to re write operation which is similar to write operation in order to add a few more information to the existing content okay so write or store data to an existing file then this particular operation can be performed append append okay see coming to the read and write okay so the file should be available and with the help of a file name the read and write operations will be done and in order to create there will be no file now while creation itself a file name will be generated right and in order to read write or append okay the open of the file should be open okay the file should be open so without opening the file you can't apply the read operation or write operation or append operation even this close operation also not able to perform okay but delete the file must be closed and then only the delete operation can be done okay similarly create means it creating a new file right so these are the different file operations okay different operations that can be performed on a file by the user so hope you understood this one and uh, let's stop here and if you enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much